Welcome to the Lend Me Your Ears podcast, where we explore practical solutions to your sales problems. Today, we bring a thought-provoking article titled, Three Tips on Grooming for the Beginner Salesperson. Originally published on lendmeyourears.co.ke. Being a novice seller is no excuse not to look presentable. Looks matter in selling. How the seller looks could determine how the sale goes. If they don't buy you, they won't buy the product you are selling. Few sellers start with a fat salary and company car, both which are offered because the employer wants to display a certain corporate image. Such employers are few and these sellers should be grateful. They already have a leg up. For many reasons, the vast majority of sellers are not this lucky. But still, this is no excuse for them to go around pitifully displaying desperation. Basic hygiene and grooming do not call for a fat salary. It is as pointless to be in a creased Hugo Boss shirt, as it is to be a salesperson of means but not brush your teeth. And so, to further help these freshers, here are three tips on grooming for the beginner salesperson. Tip 1. Fuel your energy with a golly. Selling can be physically demanding, and as a novice seller, it's essential to keep your energy levels up throughout the day. One way to achieve this is by starting your day with a hearty breakfast. Now, you might be surprised, but our recommendation is Ugali, yes, the same food loved by the renowned marathon record breaker, Eliud Kipchoge. Made from maize, Ugali is a staple food in Kenya, and it provides the sustained energy you need to stay focused and energetic during your client visits. Plus, it's a cost-effective option, allowing you to save on buying lunch. So, next time you wake up in the morning, consider enjoying a plate of ugali to keep you energized and fresh throughout the day. Tip 2. Pay attention to grooming details. As a novice seller, it's crucial to pay attention to every aspect of your appearance. First impressions matter, and your grooming can significantly influence how clients perceive you and your company. When you arrive at a client's premises, take a moment to evaluate your appearance. If you find your shoes dusty and your face sweaty from walking, don't rely on wishful thinking that the client will understand. He won't. Instead, be proactive and head to the nearest security guard station. Knowing the importance of grooming, they often keep shoe brushes and polish handy. Alternatively, if there's a washroom nearby, use some tissue to wipe your shoes clean and freshen up your face. These small efforts can make a significant difference in how you are perceived by clients. Tip 3. Dress the part, affordably. While you may not have the luxury of a high salary or a company car, that's no excuse for not dressing presentably. Looking sharp and confident can boost your credibility and leave a lasting positive impression on clients. And here's the good news, it doesn't have to cost a fortune. A quick trip to a second-hand clothing store with just a few thousand shillings can revolutionize your wardrobe and in turn, boost your confidence. There's no need to be concerned about the stigma associated with second-hand clothes for two reasons. First, no one will notice unless you go telling them. And two, statistics show that many Kenyans dress in them. You see, what matters most is how you present yourself to your clients. So, take advantage of the free resources available to you, such as YouTube videos on grooming and invest in a few quality, second-hand clothing items. You'll be amazed at how this simple step can elevate your overall appearance and, consequently, your confidence during client interactions. Remember, as a novice seller, grooming should never be overlooked. Your appearance can make or break a sale, so start your day with a hearty breakfast of a golly, pay attention to grooming details, and dress the part affordably. By following these three tips, you'll be well on your way to making a positive and lasting impression on your clients. Thank you for joining us in this exciting Lend Me Your Ears podcast, and don't forget to subscribe for more hair-raising insights and practical solutions to your sales problems.